Hello, fellow Mandalorian fans and liberals and Republican trolls, I guess, would be the only ones that watch these crap videos that I make. I would like to say I have a theory on Ahsoka Tano's wrinkles. Um... I think they're a mistake in a masterpiece such as The Mandalorian, which reaches everyone, literally everyone in my family likes it, both Republican, Democrat, old, young, really old, really young, and in between. My whole family loves it. Even if you like Star Wars, even if you don't like Star Wars, it's amazing, both ways. It plays fan service while is a good, coherent story for people that aren't super fans, such as myself. Um, her wrinkles during the first episode, chapter 13, that she was in, um, where we learned Baby Yoda's name, which is just, she's he's still going to be called Baby Yoda. Shit, he is... They haven't given really anything much about um, Yoda's species. Anyways, the wrinkles I think that she had in the show on her tendrils, um, they live to be old. They live to be like 120, I think, is what the wiki said. Um those wrinkles are right in the spots that if she, when she was doing her fighting scenes, um, they would have been wrinkled from her just moving her head around, doing that basically ninja stuff that they had her doing. And I think the, the costume got damaged and wrinkled like an old hat being creased. Um, the foam got creased. And it made those wrinkles running up the sides of her head. I think it was a mistake. And I'd be guaranteed, pretty much bet you, guaranteed that she, they didn't deliberately do that on her, period. So now they'll probably either airbrush them out later in the show. Or they'll make it canon where they wrinkle at that spot. You know, after they made the mistake, they'll try to fit it into canon like they do with a lot of the stuff in Star Wars, which is an okie doke. Um, I just wanted to put a video, Star Wars Conspiracies. This is probably my second or third Star Wars theory conspiracy I've put out. And I like doing these type things. And I'm also a huge Marvel fan. Um, I've been doing it with Marvel for 20 years, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Eternals, and most of all, the Celestials, they're, I love to see how they do their story, because in the comics, the Celestials basically plant an egg, which they set up in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, with Ego the Living Planet, Basically, when the egg is hatched, it destroys the planet in the comics. That's the basic gist of it. So, I'm crazy wondering, waiting to see it. Um, I've also done statues. I do art. I've shaped and molded and made a bunch of basically pop characters from all the Celestials. Very detailed. I've done... 12 different ones now. I might show people one day. Have a good day.